we're here to talk about green tea and cancer. If you don't know who I am, my name's Jameson. My wife, Rachel, was diagnosed with stage four colon cancer three years ago. And we started the Cancer Box to help educate, inspire, and bring hope to those who are going through a cancer diagnosis. And so that is our heart. And that's why we do these videos and uh, the many other things we do as a part of the Cancer Box. Let's get into green tea. All right, so once again, we're talking green tea in this video. But first, I am not a doctor. Anything I say here should not be taken as medical advice. Anything that you hear that you're interested in introducing to your plan in fighting cancer should absolutely be discussed with your doctor to make sure that you have your team on the same page with you. With that in mind, let's get into it. So in this video, we're gonna talk the history of green tea as a medicine. We're gonna talk uh, specifically more recent research into green tea and cancer. And then at the end, we'll talk some practical ways to use green tea. So stay tuned for that part because that's gonna get really practical into how you can introduce green tea into your uh, diet and plan. But first, let's talk about the history of green tea. So green, uh, black, and what's called oolong teas all actually come from the same plant called the Camellia sinensis. Uh, but they're prepared using different methods. So for green tea, the leaves from the plant are steamed first, and then they're pan fried actually, and then they're dried. And that's what keeps that green color to them. Tea has been used for medicinal purposes in China and Japan for thousands of years. So this is not a, a new concept by any means. So specifically in uh, China, ancient folklore placed the creation of tea uh, and green tea and the use of it as a beverage all the way back to uh, 2700 BC when the camellia blossom drifted into a cup of boiling drinking water belonging to the emperor Shen Nung. And so that's the that's the, uh, uh, the mythological beginning of green tea. Originally, tea was valued for its medicinal qualities. It has long been known that tea aids with digestion, which is why many people uh, in China prefer to consume it after their meal. Uh, it's, it's often a, a meal ender, is, is to have a glass of green tea. Another interesting side effect for smokers is that green tea hastens the discharge of nicotine from the body. Just a, kind of a random fact as I was researching, I thought that was interesting. Uh, so, so that's where green tea came from. Again, we're talking thousands of years old, considered as a food that is medicine. Okay, but let's really dive into green tea and cancer, because that's really why we're here to talk about this. So. Green tea is full of something called polyphenols. It's the substance in green tea uh, that, that is most interesting as it relates to cancer. These polyphenols have substantial free radical scavenging activity, and they might protect cells from DNA damage caused by reactive oxygen species. So essentially, uh, green tea has this protective element or, or more specifically, these polyphenols in green tea have this uh, documented protective element uh, to protect DNA within our, our system. So cancer at its core is a damage of DNA. And so anything that we introduce to our body that helps protect our, our DNA from being damaged in the way that causes cancer is a good thing. Uh, polyphenols, substance in green tea, has been shown to inhibit tumor cell proliferation and induce apoptosis in laboratory and animal studies. So this means that, um, remember apoptosis, we've talked about it in a few different videos. It's one of the programmed cell deaths. And so essentially it's a, it's a switch that gets turned on in a cell that says, hey, it is time to die. Um, and it sheds its, its protective layers and it gets absorbed and that cell moves on. Our bodies do this all the time. All the different cells go through this natural cycle. Cancer cells have that switch disabled. And so anything we can do to re-enable that switch and get it turned on will help cancer cells naturally go through a death cycle instead of just continually reproducing and reproducing and reproducing. 
Okay, but right now, I want to look at a specific uh, case study uh, that was a randomized trial to evaluate uh, tea extracts, and green tea in particular, on malignant or, or on pre-malignant oral lesions. So these are precancerous lesions that it's identified that that likely will turn into cancer. Pause for the train. We have a train track right by our house. Uh, it literally rattles the windows every time there's a train, and it's about every 20 to 30 minutes uh, throughout the day and even in the night. So it's hard to time any sort of recording around a train schedule. Okay, so this case study uh, was a randomized trial to evaluate green tea's effect on pre-malignant oral lesions. So these are precancerous lesions in the mouth that... Um, have been documented to often lead to cancer. This is a double-blind study with 59 patients involved. So the trial's participants were randomly assigned to receive either three grams of a mixed tea product, uh, given both orally and topically, or they received a placebo. And so this is where the results, this third bullet here on, on our slide, the results were after six months, 38% regression was seen for the treatment group, so for those in the of the 59 who received the green tea uh, mixture, 10% regression was seen for the placebo. So not everybody developed into cancer, but of the placebo, meaning the people not taking green tea, that was kind of the baseline, 10% um, of those people did not progress into a cancer, uh, uh, into a malignant state of these for these lesions. 38% or 28% more. Uh, or three times as many people who are taking the green tea mixture saw regression of those oral lesions. So again, this is a this is a big deal. There are many studies like this, uh, but this is what we want to see: is are studies like this related to any sort of dietary or supplemental uh, changes that we're going to make to our plan? Okay, so uh, here's where we get really practical. We're gonna look at practical ways to use green tea or get green tea into our plan, our cancer fighting plan. So let's look at just a few. So the first thing we can do is we can eat it. Uh, green tea powders are, are really inexpensive. You can get them on Amazon or most grocery stores carry them, uh, but you can cook with them. And so um, there, there's a trend right now at, at a lot of coffee shops of matcha flavored muffins and things like that. Uh, you can easily get them into like smoothies. Uh, it's just a really easy way to get a lot of green tea uh, and not have to drink hot tea every time. The second thing is you can pill pop it. So green tea supplements uh, are, are widely available and you can get often higher doses when taken as a supplement, like, like most supplements, than you would get in just a normal dietary change. All right, and then of course you can drink it. This is maybe the, the, our, our favorite way of getting green tea is just drinking it as tea. Uh, there, are, there are tons of great brands out there. Uh, one that we like is uh, Tiesta Tea. They just make really high quality teas that taste really good. So we've got a couple here. Um, uh, so like Fruity Paradise is delicious. Pineapple Blues, again, they, they taste very sweet, but it really is just infused with the different fruits that are on the label. So it's a really healthy way of uh, enjoying tea. They also have black teas and oolong teas and other, other types of teas that, again, have a lot of the same benefits. We're just talking about green tea here. So give them a try. I'll drop a link below. It is an affiliate link, and so the Cancer Box benefits if you order through that, but um, order however you want. I uh, just wanted to put that there to give you a good direction to go because there's a lot of teas out there like any supplements, and so finding good brands is difficult, and this is one that we found. We also include it in our cancer boxes that we send out, uh, and we drink it ourselves all the time, so it's something we believe in. All right, and that is all we've got on green tea. So if you have any questions uh, or anything to add to this topic, uh, leave them below. Otherwise, let us know any other topics you want us to address, anything that we haven't yet that you're curious about or would like to have a conversation about. We'd love to hear from you. So leave that in the comments below as well. Otherwise, be safe, be blessed, and we'll talk to you soon.